You thought your last flying experience was a little bit uncomfortable. Well, an Abu Dhabi-based airline is being sued by a 38-year-old Australian man. Why? He claims that being seated in economy next to an overweight passenger left him with major back injuries. So here's the whole story. He actually is suing the airway for $227,000 claiming he was subjected to what's called seat invasion, seat invasion back in October of 2010. <laughs> so he said the back injury occurred because he was forced to twist and contort his body to avoid contact with his neighboring passenger during the 14-hour flight. This, now this is where things get interesting. They tried to get the case thrown mm. out in court, but the judge actually said, you know what? Go get a medical assessment and we'll see where it goes from uh, here. So this is in the courts. The beginning of the end. This is, yeah. I mean, this raises a lot of thorny issues. It does, and you know, interestingly enough, I was reading like Samoa Airlines was the first airlines to actually require people to get on a scale first and actually decide based off of how much they weigh, how much their ticket was gonna cost because they feel as though you should be charging people in terms of size. Now, personally, I'm really sensitive to, to bigger people. I, I know when I was a kid, I read this book called She's Come Undone, and it basically really does a good job of right. making you feel what it's like to be a larger person. So when I've had incidences where I'm sitting next to a really large person, you know, all I do is try to get in my zen moment and focus on the fact that I'm just grateful I'm not that, that, you're, that large, you know? Or and grateful that, that you're on the plane. You and could that be walking. I'm not that uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think your point is such they an important are, one. feel so insecure sitting next to you. You know, that's the bad thing about it you know to see the person sitting there trying to make themselves as small as possible and you know you're you're sitting there like realizing that they you're making them uncomfortable so I mean it's a bad situation for both people and to think that you could sue someone well they're suing the airline, airline but I'm calling large this. person is next to them thank you yes yes five years ago yes. I ate yes. I want a couple hundred thousand bucks yes but what worries me is that if the judge is sending this person for a medical assessment, we all know how easy it is to get a doctor to oh, sign up sure. for a long-term back injury. He's going to go back into court, and he's probably going to win. And oh. here's the thing, and I think that this particular one is about sitting next to an obese passenger. But as you said, Rachel, it's really about empathy and putting yourself... It yeah. could be any other disability. It could be someone in a wheelchair. It could be someone with Tourette syndrome, with tics. It could be someone with any or chronic... Or a medical condition could have caused the size. Too. Anything. So understand that they are probably not much more uncomfortable on that plane than you are. It's like a woman with a screaming baby. Do you think she's enjoying the fact yeah. her baby's screaming? Exactly. No. So I think we just have to put ourselves in the passenger shoes in these situations. You know, and yep. you mentioned, was it Samoa Airlines? Mm -hmm. Actually, another airline is now Ooh. weighing passengers before they get on the flight along with their luggage. Uh, and they're literally having them get on the scale and uh, my thoughts with this is, you talk about fat shaming. It, to me, planes do need to know how much weight is on the airplane. I remember taking a plane, um, island hopping. You know, this was a great trip. I was going to a small island in Hawaii called Lanai, and the airplane from Honolulu to Lanai, little tiny thing, a little scary. Yeah. And they and they, they made an announcement uh, with the passengers and luggage. We have too much weight. I'm like, I'll get off. I'm good. <laughs> no. I don't need to go. So I do like the idea of airlines knowing how much weight's on board, but this whole idea of stepping on a scale in front of everyone else, yeah. no good. I would say empty your bladder, go to the bathroom, take care of business right before you get on that scale. <laughs> Every ounce matters. Take your shoes off. And, and if they're like, well, Just we could probably say. take one or two more, I'll volunteer yes, to not be the, the like, last sure. person. On that plane. It's That's exactly right. right. So <laughs> I, think, I think really what we can all learn from this is just a little bit of empathy and understand so. that uh, when we're in cramped quarters, no one's happy. And so we have to do the best we can just to get along. Yep. We'll be right, right back. Yep.